Welcome to Fans React and I'm going to be talking about the game on Tuesday versus Blackpool. Now for Sunderland, where can I start with the last game, the shit show? I mean, it was just depressing, deflating. Last five, six, seven weeks, it's been, it's been disgraceful. The way we've just bottled it, I mean, people think that fan, uh, Spurs, they are bottlers, but we're even more bottlers. We just bottle every chance we get. To get into the top two positions, I mean, I'm gonna talk about the game against Accrington first. The game finished three all. Yeah, so that the team news came out and Lee Johnson went with the four two fucking two two. I don't know why he keeps doing this. This formation does not work for this team. It has never worked for this team. Every time, every single time, we always always flop. We always fail with this formation. But yet he keeps persisting with this shit formation. Playing Winchester and Scarwood. Winchester and Scarwood do, do not work together. They, they've got no communication between them. There's so much space in the middle. There's so much space between them. And the other team, they keep... There's so much space, they just walk through them. So they, so they two played. Grant didn't play. That was a big shock because I thought he was great in the first half against Hull. Um, Geed started... Um, I don't know how he's fit after. Well, against Hull, Lee Johnson was saying that he's got swelling on his foot. Now, you're telling me he's fine, that his foot's fine. No, he's not. There's got to be pain. And obviously, that takes a few weeks to heal. Just don't play him until the playoffs because this is like two seasons ago. And yeah, we obviously that he played. Good started no Jones that was baffling. Wyke and O'Brien up top. I mean, that why we, that why we brought Stewart. Just play the guy. See what he can do. Yeah. So that the uh, so the game kicked off, and I thought first half we were excellent. We uh, we passed the ball well. Good tempo. We were direct. We put some great crosses into the box, and we could have scored more than two goals. We scored um, the two goals through Wyke. Great, but Wyke, you know, to get two goals. We could have scored three or four. I mean, for O'Brien, he needs four or five chances to score one fucking goal. Because he can't. Because I know some fans think that, oh, he makes space for Wyke, but he needs to do more. He needs to score more goals, and he doesn't. And I mean, that what does he give to this team? Nothing to me. And yeah, I mean, there was one or two good chances for what him, Wyke as well. But we just, they were, I mean, they were there for the taking. I mean, they've conceded seven goals against Peterborough. They conceded five goals the other week. They concede a lot. And when they play against Sunderland, we only can score one or two. And you just start over with that. Oh, we can't kill teams off that. Oh, we can't um, put them to the sword. And it was very frustrating. But first half, I thought it was good. It was good to watch like a Sunderland game and to see the, the players play well. We but we only play well for one half or you know one half or the second half that's it but we don't play well for the full game but there was a, one or two chances for them and they weren't clinical thankfulness so uh, we went into half time but I don't know what Lee Johnson said that second half because the players came out and absolutely shocking disgraceful they came out no passion no fight for the ball and fair play to Accrington they played very well this uh, second half. They could have scored more than three goals. They could have scored five, six. They looked threatening every time they came forward. They scored a goal by Bishop, Bailey Wright, Luke on nine. Shocking defending. Ball watching was Luke on nine. Bailey Wright is not touched tight on their centre forward. He's scared. Oh no, I'm scared. And he lets him turn too, too easily. They score. I mean, if... If uh, if uh, if someone tells you the how has life been as a Sunderland fan the last four or five weeks to show him to show them that second goal that we conceded because the ball you just pumped forward low corner I don't know what he's doing and he scores on goal I don't know what Lee Burge is doing just stay in your fucking goal why are you coming out for he's coming out like he's like he's like Superman I'm coming out to save the day something like that and. He's caught in no man's land and I don't know what Luke, Luke or Nine is doing. Just clear your lines. And yeah, well, we just gifted them that goal. That was comical on, on goal. Two all. And then they look threatening. They could have scored the third goal, the fourth. We, I mean, when 
they scored the first goal. There was no place thinking, come on, lads, let's get it. Come on, wake up. They just went back thinking, no, no, yeah, that we can't get top two, so that what have we got to play for? I mean, then we scored the goal by uh, Power. Great run from Diamond Power. Yes, deflected, but it was a good run from Power. And then I thought, come on, 3 2. Now we've just got to hold on. But we can't defend to save our lives. It was not long, long ago. We were keeping clean sheets left, right, centre. But these days, we can't even keep one fucking clean sheet. It's the shit at the moment. We look so poor at the back, barely right. I don't know what's happened to him. Luke on 9. Looks like he needs a rest. Power, he's been poor. And, I mean, he's just been poor. Um, and then, uh, Gide, he made a stupid foul. and Great free kick by their player. Brilliant, right in the corner. I don't think Burge, I think, yes, that he did get like a hand to it, but that was a great free kick. And he was 3 all Fair play to Accrington, but they were there for the taking. First half, they were poor. And we only got two goals on. We don't... Be that that we don't put teams to the sword, and that's the main thing why we're, we're not um, going um, that or for the top two. That 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 top two's gone. Hull, fair play to Hull. Congrats to Hull. I mean, they deserved it. They've been brilliant this season. Even for Peterborough, I think they'll go up as well. They score three, four goals. We can't even score more than one goal a game, two goals a game because we struggle, and now we're conceding a lot as well. Um, yeah. Um. Who played well? I thought Winchester was poor. Scarwin first half good, but second half where was it? Gooch. I thought first half he was all right. Second half he was shit. Uh, Geeds he was okay. Geeds but poor for their third goal. He should. I mean he's played in big leagues, Premier League. He's played, you know, and he's you know, obviously in Champions League, and he needs to use uh, that experience, but to make stupid fouls. Uh, yeah, um, right. He's looked shit since he's come back from uh, uh, the long term injury. Luko 9, he needs a rest. Poor lad. I know some fans love Luko 9, but he's been absolutely terrible. Uh, Hume was okay first half, second half. He was poor. Burge, just just don't. I know, I mean, that I've praised Burge, but just give, just give Patterson a start. I mean, that if he can't play in League 1, then. He can't play in the Championship or the Premier League. Just he, that he's got to start from somewhere, hasn't he? Um, White, good to score him two goals. He could have scored a third. But second half, there was no there was no one uh, like player close to him. He was all alone. And yeah. Um, yeah, so now talking about the game now, now uh, on Tuesday versus Blackpool. Now, Blackpool, since we last played them, they've lost the last two games. They're very inconsistent. And we didn't play that bad against them, but we conceded a stupid goal. Burge, it's, it is the individual um, m mistakes that, I mean, Billy Wright, even against Wigan, costly errors, can't defend set pieces, stupid, stupid fouls given away. It's just that we need to sort this out because if, you know what I mean, that we could not even get into the playoff places, we could get 7th or 8th. And the way that things are looking at the moment, um, so they've got some good players, Blackpool, like Kai Kai Sims, uh, he played well when we played against them at their ground. Yates, that he was quiet, but he's still a good player. Garber, he was linked to being Sunderland fan, but we just signed some shit players like McFadzi, not McFadzi, McShitzine. I don't know how, it's just poor. But I, don't, I, I mean, that who thought, Buying these plays are better than the players that were like Carbert, Fraser, and we just didn't get them. And it is showing now these players are not good enough. They're not good enough for top two. These players are just good enough for playoffs. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, but the last two games, they've not been doing well, Blackpool. So, but the way we're playing, this is looking like a draw. But what do I think um, uh, that the line will be? For me, I will give uh, Patterson. Uh, you know, like a star. I mean, if he can't play in League One, then he can't do anything because, you know, obviously when he's played, that, he, that, he, that he's not played that bad. So just give him a start. That what can you do wrong? Uh, so um, for me, I would start Patterson, let Burge because his confidence is shot. Though you know, like the last four or five games, he's looked shaky. I mean, that I've praised Burge, but 
I think we need to give Patterson a start. Um, now back for power will probably start, but do you see Lee Johnson start younger? I mean, just I mean that he just only started that one game, and then I mean now where and uh, where and uh, where's he gone? I don't really know where's he gone. Just start the kid, see what he can do, because the what have we got to lose? The way these players are playing, then they're not playing for the badge. Bay Wright will probably start, but who else can we play? We need Sanderson. We need the players back. Luke on nine, he'll probably start again with Hume. Hume, I thought first half looked good. It was good to see Hume start in the game, and he needs to have more starts now. So because then, hopefully, then he can obviously, if we get to playoffs, he will probably start. But you know, you know, if obviously seeing Lee Johnson, he he will probably start that donkey McFadzin. Now in the centre mid, go three. We look more balanced. We look more compact against Seoul. It works for three three. So we should go, uh, go with Grant, and then on the uh, on the right and left, Winchester and Scowin, because they can be uh, they can give uh, their support to Wyke, to obviously to make them runs. Now on the right side and then on the left side, Geeds and Jones, and then Wyke up top. Now, what do I think the score will be? I think it'll be two one. Now this can easily be a draw two all one all two one to them because the way we're playing. But I'm going to stay positive because obviously through the good times and the bad times, you've got to stay together. If if it is playoffs, you never know, things might be different this time. But seeing the past few, um, few years and, and the past few times we've, we've gone into playoffs, we don't really do well. Um, yeah, so 2-1 um, Sunderland, hopefully. Come on, lads, we've got to get a win. We've, because two seasons ago, we went into the playoffs we like a bit like so many uh like we we lost so many games going into the playoffs um and we didn't go into the playoffs we like some confidence and now obviously that we've got three games left we've got to start winning we've got to get a win just to get the confidence up because these players I mean last because they're playing like oh that we've got no to lose that what we got to lose yeah go for the game. Attack them! Don't let them! Don't let them pass the ball around! Don't let! Don't let them bully you! It's simple as. But we let them have far too much space on the ball, far too much time on the ball, and it and it's and it's frustrating when you watch the game. You're thinking, "Come on, get at them!" There's no leaders in the team. Power's not a leader. Billy right? I'm not seeing him shout or you know say to that player, "Listen, you go there." It's been nothing. We. It's been very frustrating. Um, but yeah, two one Sunland. So um, I mean that you know that you can tell that I'm very, very angry, very deflated, very depressed now being a Sunland fan at the moment. But hopefully now that we can win the next two three games and go on a big run and get into the playoffs, and you never know what can happen in the playoffs. So if you're seeing this and that you've not subscribed. Come on, last out. What you're waiting for? Click the subscribe button, like, share, comment. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your brothers, tell your sisters, tell um, tell your work colleagues and that. Even though they don't even like football, just tell them because that would mean so much. I mean, there's so much going on on fans react. So uh, I mean that. I mean that. Tell your dogs, tell your cats, and you know because I think we're only about fifty-seven away. So that would mean so much. And yeah, you take care.